My name is Pat Iyer. I'm a legal nurse consultant who has helped attorneys with over a hundred emergency department cases, either nursing or medical malpractice. The emergency department, also called the ED, is one of the highest risk areas of the hospital. In this video, I share tips on the liability associated with some of the highest risk patients in the emergency department. There are certain symptoms that may signal the presence of a serious condition. Medical malpractice attorneys and legal nurse consultants may become involved in cases where there are delays in diagnosis or wrong diagnosis of these conditions. Here are four serious conditions. I have the worst headache of my life. When a patient comes into the ED saying these words, these words alone should lead the staff to immediately take a patient to the treatment area. The symptoms may represent some type of a hemorrhage in the brain or impending neurological problem that needs immediate attention. I feel like an elephant is standing on my chest. When a patient comes into the ED saying these words, these words alone should immediately lead the staff to take that patient back to the treatment room right away. The staff should be getting an EKG done, drawing blood for cardiac enzymes, and ruling out a gastrointestinal cause of the chest pain, or confirming that the patient is having a myocardial infarction. I'm having a baby now. Once more, these words should signal an immediate evaluation to determine the frequency and duration of contractions. Patients who might deliver in the emergency department may be having frequent or prolonged contractions. As a rule, the ED staff transfer these patients to the hospital's labor and delivery area as quickly as possible. I'm having severe pain. I've talked with pain associated with brain hemorrhage, myocardial infarction, and delivery or labor, but there are other causes of severe, sudden pain. The patient could be having a kidney stone if the patient has severe flank pain. The patient could be having a ruptured aortic aneurysm. The standard of care requires the healthcare staff to assess the pain, asking if the patient can quantify the pain on a scale. The most commonly used scale is 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst possible pain imaginable. Patients who are unable to assign a number to the pain may be able to point to a face that represents their pain. This is the FACES or FACES pain score. Hospitals may utilize different pain rating systems from these ones that I've just described. Patients with severe pain need immediate attention. I discuss more liability issues associated with emergency department care in my new book, Analyzing Emergency Department and Medical Malpractice Cases. I wrote this book to help legal nurse consultants and attorneys who handle emergency department cases. Get ordering information at the link below.